Bloomies are forever. Happy Monday, everyone. I'm Melissa, and today we are printing eBay shipping labels. Over the weekend, I had 10 items sell. I think only nine people paid for their item. So I have to ship nine packages here, one from a giveaway from Instagram, and one person paid through PayPal for a YouTube item that I sold. So we're gonna get started by showing you some of the supplies, and most of these were sent by my lovely subscribers, so thank you so much. We have ribbon. I have so much fun ribbon, but I think we're going to use the watermelon print today, which is aqua, and then the two shades of, this one's like a burgundy pink, and this one is truly a pale, pale pink. So both, one's girl green and one is satin. Then I have Annette made these. Thank you so much, Annette. These are little barrettes, or you could put them at wherever. I mean, you could wear them as a corsage, or if you had two matching ones, you could put them on your ballet flats. Adorable. So I have a bunch of those. I also have cards people have sent in and some stationery. I have <laughs> tool ribbon. I have raffia ribbon. There's a lot of things going on over here. These are from Darlene. They're little ballet flats in an envelope. So cute. And of course, my business card. And you are all welcome to say it with me. You are enough. You are so enough. It is unbelievable how enough you are. And then I put my store link on the back. So that way somebody could just put it on their little bulletin board or tape it up somewhere to remind them that they are in fact enough. So I think the first thing we're going to work on is the easiest thing. <laughs> this is a very lightweight little child's, I even hate to say sports bra. Maybe it's just called something else. I don't know. It's from Capizio. It sold for $4.99 plus $2 shipping. And I feel like that might have been an eBay glitch because I couldn't imagine I put $2 shipping. I have other ones listed in different sizes. I had like, I don't know, 20 of these, 10 of these, some big number, and now I have less, thankfully. And none of the other ones had $2 for shipping. So again, that might have been my fault. It's such a weird number. I always put like $3.99 or $4.99, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is, the shipping cost is $2 and I'm going to go ahead and honor that, of course, because the person saw it from their end. And let me get the item, I'll show it to you. Here it is. This is actually the bigger size. I have several smaller than this tiny little top. I bought these at Walmart. I want to say they were a dollar on the dollar rack. I bought a lot of stuff that night. I kind of cleared out the dollar rack and the $2 rack of the things I thought I could resell. So I didn't make much money on this and I'm gonna lose money on shipping, but that's okay, seriously. I'll make money somewhere else. So I am gonna put this in a regular Ziploc baggie. We had an extra one in here. I'm sure it held cards or something like that. And so I'm going to just protect it by putting it in there and grabbing a piece of our fun tissue paper. I have bunches of different prints, but I think this person, I'm gonna send the donut wrapping paper. It's a holiday donut. All of my tissue paper is from Amazon. It is Jilson Roberts. It is pricey. So you can find it on closeout. A lot of the prints are on closeout kind of after the season. And yes, if you believe it, there are tissue paper seasons, but, um, you could get 240 pieces for $35 shipped on Prime. So that's not that bad when you consider it's really good tissue paper. <laughs> I'm really impressed here, Jilson Roberts. I think I'm gonna cut this piece in half. such a tiny thing that, oh, I should pan you down so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to put it in a smaller piece of tissue paper. OK, 
Okay, and I'm going to use, I think, the pale pink ribbon. It goes nicely. I'm assuming this is for a child or a very, um, I would think it would have to be a child, honestly. I don't know. But I am going to put one of Annette's bows on top. I'm going to use one of Annette's bows on top. I think the um, the top had gold in it and this one has gold in it, so I'm going to attach that one. Just slip it right under there and a business card, of course. This is a tiny little package, so I'm going to put it in a poly mailer so it can ship first class mail. First class mail is the cheapest mail. Thank you to the person who sent in these gorgeous 10 by 13 bunny poly mailers. So cute. Oh my goodness. So many fun prints in this package, which if this is for a child, I'm going to assume they're just going to be thrilled with all the additions. There we go. Seal it up and let's give it away. Four ounces exactly. So let's put in four ounces and update. And my shipping costs three dollars and nine cents. Now I use the dimensions of 12 by 12 by 2 for anything about this size. So one of my subscribers said it's important that you measure every single package. Um, I just have to find my tape measure. And I just can't imagine they're going to let's use 10 by 10 by 2. Okay, so it was 309 before. It's 309. So even if I could fit it into like a really tiny six by six by two, it's still 309. So 18, 18 by two, let's see. It's still 309. <laughs> I'd have to go up quite a bit. I mean, 18 inches is a foot and a half. So yeah, have to go up quite a bit. So let's leave it at 12 by 12. I'm fine with that. That's what I'm gonna leave most of my packages at. And purchase and print. And I'm printing through eBay on my 450. It is Dymo. Let's get my water out of the way. It is the Dymo 450 Turbo. My mom, who is full time and not just like a hobby seller, I would love to do it again full time. My health is not going to allow it. But my mom uses the 450. So. It's this kind of the same setup. I have the step-by-step. -step. I need a little bit of an updated version, but you can still use the step-by-step -step to download the software. Okay, um, print. I'm changing this to my Dymo. I do have a regular label printer, and it uses toner instead of ink. So it's a laser printer instead of an inkjet or an ink printer, and um, yeah, I, I love ours. It's only a couple cents to print something, but the regular printer is slow. It does use toner. The Dymo, if you can find it at a good price, or I've purchased them as low as like $40, $45 on Amazon, but lately they seem to be up to like $80, $90. So the 450 Turbo is the one I have. Love it. It uses thermal. So it's basically burning the paper. You never need ink or toner. You just provide the labels. And the labels you want to get for eBay, again, this won't work for Posh or Macari or Etsy or anything like that, but this works great for eBay. You want to get the Dymo compatible 99019. And that 99019 is this exact size. So I purchased these um, generically. They're fine. They've always been fine. My mom uses them. She goes through a ton of rolls of shipping. Okay. Thank you so much. Let's go on to another easy item. Start us out slow here. I was supposed to be doing this at like 7 o'clock in the morning. It is 3.30 in the afternoon. We have missed the post altogether. None of this stuff needs to go out today. I have a two-day handling again from my health. But yeah. But it, it wasn't happening this morning, so my husband will need to run it down to the local gas station. He's planning on going grocery shopping anyway, so it's not a big deal. But they're open until 6. 
So I just need to finish it in two and a half hours, which I should be able to do. The next item is a purse. My mom and I, my mom is again a full-time seller, if you didn't know, Lavender Clothesline. She ships a ton of packages and sells a ton of things. And she was down here visiting me in April and then again in the end of June, early July, and then she's gonna come back in late August. Uh, and I'll let her share that news, but she is getting teeth implants. So go check her channel if you're interested in any of that. But she was down on vacation for two weeks, staying very close to us on Anna Maria Island, and she wanted to go thrifting. Yay, my favorite thing to do if I'm feeling good enough. And yeah, we went and we found a ton of stuff and made videos about it. I put one on my channel, her one on hers. She put one on hers and we had a great time and my mom i think found this purse it sold for 17 dollars on auction it had issues the leather had come off the bottom i fixed it with a little bit of a stick on pleather but there was also like a smoke smell i just closed all of that it still got bid up it had seven bids i started it at 9.99 i did 9.99 so bid up to $17 plus $5.99 shipping. So let me grab that next item. Here is the next item. It is, I don't even know how to say this brand's name. Anoush. There's a lot of letters in there. Anushka, I think. But I put a little bit of, um, don't do this, don't do this for anything, but this bag had major issues with smelling in general, the scent. So uh, yeah, I figured this would improve it like 100%. So, <laughs> it's so much better. <laughs> it's still not great, but it's, it's so much better. So I'm going to wrap this in a little bit of bubble wrap and then we'll slide it into a poly mailer if it's under a pound. Let's wrap it in plastic before we put it in bubble wrap. Let's do that. So I'm not gonna completely squeeze out the air. This is why I like these kind of bags and I get that they're not very earth friendly and I'll work on that after I run out of these supplies but this bag is kind of flexible anyway. So this will allow it not to be crushed. It kind of creates that pillow thing we're after. And then we're going to wrap it in bubble wrap. So if I had a really stiff leather or a very expensive purse that wasn't fabric, I would probably wrap it differently. But this one is kind of that hobo kind of foldable leather. There's issues anyway. I'm hoping they're gonna get it and love it. I try to over describe the thing. <laughs> like, it really stinks. And then the person will get it and be like, oh, it doesn't really stink, it's just okay. But I'd rather point out any flaws I notice. I'm going to use washi tape that said, you did it. <laughs> so cute. One of my subscribers sent me this, thank you so much. I am loving, I'm gonna do tool on it. Uh, it's like an aqua tool I found at the bins and I'm almost out, in fact, I've been using this since I found it. Because I hate to use other people's supplies if like you are not here with me because it seems like then they won't get to see their supplies. So I found this at the Goodwill bins. Mary scissors, thank you, Mary. So I had to pick one thing to use, like curling ribbon or raffia or this tool stuff. I would pick this tool stuff every time. It's so nice. I never struggle with it. It's a really good ribbon option, I think, if you can get it cheap enough. I'm gonna put one of these flowers on it and then they can clip it to the purse if they want. Plus it matches perfectly. And a business card. 
And we're gonna put it in a large poly mailer. I have two sizes of large poly mailers. One is more of a medium size, it's the 12 by 15. And just to give you a comparison, the nine, eight by 11, what is this? I think, I think I don't know, 10 by, oh, it's 10 by 13. That's what the small one is, I threw myself off there. And the bigger one is 12 by 15. So you can see there's a couple inches on either side that kind of get bigger. So that's my, that's my medium size. And then I just, just ordered because I had it huge ones. I have two foot by three foot and two foot by two foot. But these are the 19 by 24, I believe they are. I'll put it up on the screen. Aren't they beautiful? I have like regular poly mailers of just solid colors, but this is the first ever print in these big ones, which I love. Let's see which one this fits in. I don't think it's gonna fit in this one. So we are gonna go up to the big one. Okay, let's weigh this. And I'm gonna flip this up one-handed there. Um, put this down. <laughs> okay. It is 12.9, 13. It just turned to 13 ounces. That's what I thought it was the first time. This is only 13 ounces. Look how big this is. It's twice the size of my head. Okay. So they did pay first class, $5.99 shipping. So I just need to change this to, I'm gonna put 14 ounces. No, it's, it's exactly 13. I feel comfortable using 13. So I round up to the nearest ounce if it is first class. And if you do priority, which we haven't gotten to, but gotten to, <laughs> we haven't got to. I don't know, weird grammar. So this is first class mail. Anything first class mail under a pound, again, is the cheaper option you round up to the closest ounce. This is exactly 13 ounces, so we're gonna leave it. But if it was 13.1, I'd round up to 14 ounces. So that's first class mail. And then priority mail, you round up to the closest next pound. So if it's 1.1 pound, you'd round up to two pounds. So 13 ounces, we're gonna update. Kelly lives in Colorado. Hi, Kelly, if you're watching, my cost is $5.38. So I did make about 60 cents there, and that pays for the packaging. So if you'd like to make money, feel free to make money on shipping. You can do free shipping, where you absorb the cost, flat rate, which is mostly what I do for lighter items. And by lighter items, I mean like under the two or three pound mark. So anything lighter than that, I do flat rate, which is where I charge $4.99 or $5.99. I'm telling the customer what the weight is, and then you could do calculated shipping, where you put it in, it's 13 ounces, and eBay tells the buyer. So eBay's handling the shipping a little bit more. I feel comfortable, I've been doing eBay, whoa. How long have I been on eBay? My husband has been on 20 years because I took over his account like in year two or three. So I think I've been on 18 years. It's a really long time to sell on eBay, but I've been doing it some years full time and some years not too much, which is where I am now. But I do enough that I can make a shipping video once in a while, which I love doing, of course. So I'm going to open the label. Let's get on here. Somebody said, don't ramble. <gasps> okay, I'm just gonna be rambling. It's $5.38 and print. Thank you, Kelly. The next item is a Tumi Delta case with some items inside. I'll show you.
Okay, so this is the Tumi case. Tumi is a really nice brand name of luggage that people enjoy and know. So I sold a Tumi, just a really beaten up label. What is that called? A dress thing you put on the suitcase. I don't know. You know, luggage tag, luggage tag. That's what it's called. But my mom found this one at the bins and it's Tumi for Delta. And it has like the little first class amenity kit. There are three types of people that collect to me or buy to me, in my opinion. The first. Okay, we're gonna use this other little piece of donut paper. use the same pale pink ribbon because it matches and it's right here. Oh no! close as a free gift I don't always do free well I almost always do something you know like a little package topper but I think this person would appreciate lens wipes I bought these on an Amazon glitch I paid almost nothing for them and I have a gazillion so I think that person would appreciate it just to put in their bag if they're keeping it okay business card on I put it in a plastic bag we are going to grab a poly mailer for one more yeah <laughs> more serious or pumpkins more serious I don't know it's funny because I have the tissue paper with Santa hats Christmas and then I have it's a lot of seasons going on they're not gonna care 6.8 so we round up to seven and again, they paid $4.99 and our cost is $3.49. That seems really low. I guess not. The other one was $3.09, so I guess not. But okay, that was, I made over a dollar. I try not to make over a dollar, but if it happens, it happens. It's not a huge deal. Open label. But if you are watching and I do charge you, please leave me a note if you buy something from me. I'll make sure we get the shipping fee correct. At least I can do that for you, right? True. I love when people leave me notes saying they found me on YouTube and they wanted to support me or they found something they loved and noticed it was me. Thank you so much for leaving me sweet comments and notes. So this is going to Maximino and an apartment in Arizona, $3.49 was my cost for first class mail. And again, I'm in Florida, if you didn't know. I'm on the west coast of Florida on about halfway or a little bit past halfway down. So we have the Gulf of Mexico here and it is looking cloudy. My husband and I thought we might go to the pool. We have a heated pool in our community, which hardly anybody uses especially not on a weekday, on a Monday. But we would go over there if it doesn't start thundering. Okay, next item. The next item is Aeropostel, Aeropostel, I don't know. This was in one of the mystery boxes I ordered. I think there were 100 pieces if I'm remembering correctly. And I paid $85 or something like that. So this would have been under a dollar had the box been all of this level, but it wasn't. So I'm not even gonna say if I made money or not. I have no idea. We don't need a lot of that stuff though. Okay, so Lily in Washington. Hi Lily, you have one of my favorite names. Um, my husband had an aunt Lily and I just always loved the name Lillian. But you paid $4.99 and $4.99 for shipping. So let's get this one wrapped. The 
The tissue paper I'm using right now, I don't know if it's on closeout. The company sold me on Amazon some tissue paper and I bought it. It was supposed to be an owl print and then they messaged and said they were out of the owl but I could pick any print I wanted from their current, their current 2019 tissue paper prints. I mean, <laughs> I was really excited. I'm gonna be using this gorgeous, this gorgeous ribbon somebody sent me. So I picked the marble print. So I don't think that one's on closeout yet. I'm gonna put a purple and kind of a light green. There we are. A little clip on the top. This ribbon is adorable. And of course a business card, which just happens to match the tissue paper. I buy these on Vista print. And I think I get, I get a thousand at a time for maybe $50. So it's not very much when you consider package toppers. Let's put this in. Let's put this in. Look at that one. This is a new one somebody sent me from Pack It Chic Mailers. Beautiful. It's so sophisticated. <laughs> I feel like if I had this print on a dress or even a swimsuit, I would just feel so classy. Right? It's so pretty. It's like Gucci-esque or something. Okay, so this is going first class now. We have to weigh this. It's a light little thing though. 5.6 ounces, so we round up to six. <laughs> I was waiting for it to print and I just had to hit print. I forgot to hit print. Thank you, Lily. Quite the snazzy little pile of packages over there. Nobody is going to be appreciative except for me. Okay, next item also first class mail. Should we do one that's not? Let's throw in one that's priority. So those three were all under a pound first class mail. Next kind is priority mail. I have a pair of Chico's Travelers pants. They're cropped in a size two. Plastic bag. I forget what these are called. I guess just plastic zipper bags. I like that they keep all of the elements out. So nobody's, you know, package is landing on a wet patio or who knows what snow moisture might get in it. And it just protects it. It makes a nicer presentation. I've never had an issue with smells. So that's really nice. Nobody's ever complained of that. So I don't know. I think the plastic bags are nice. Again, I'll probably find another option, but I still have a gajillion of these. New tissue paper. <gasps> Look how fun that one is. This was half off uh, on Amazon's website. And I want this one for any gender. I think this is adorable. Okay, oh my goodness, the water paper up. Uh, I just got really excited. Okay, have to redo that so I don't make anybody jump. Look at this watermelon print with this paper. Wait till you see it, it's gonna be so good. I have to make sure I don't cut it small enough. I have to cut it large enough. You knew what I meant. Plans that better. I'm gonna make sure I cut off those little bits of wire because it's wire driven, so I don't want anybody to stick themselves. Okay. We are going to put, I think this card is gonna be amazing against all these prints. It's it's aqua with shades of pink and kind of a mustard green of like an, a tealish green color. This is going to be stunning. Package of the year, I'm calling it. Is there a package of the year contest? Look at this. Oh, 
They're all different prints and yet they somehow, <laughs> in the best possible tacky way, go. Oh, what poly mailer should we give them? I think the bunnies. I think that's gonna be pretty good, guys. Right? It's kind of like another layer of the same colors but different fun prints. This is such a good fun package. I forgot what I was wrapping. What am I wrapping? Oh, 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 I can't use the poly mailer. Bummer, I was really getting into it. This is going to have to ship. Oh no, first class mail. Okay, what are we wrapping? Chico's Travelers, okay, so we're good to go. I thought this was priority mail. It's not, sorry about that. We will, we will do a priority mail one if I can find one next. Another first class, another fun different print of poly mailer. Twelve point three, so we round up to thirteen. This is Denise in Michigan. Ninety-nine percent sure MI is Michigan. We're gonna Google it though, so I learn. And I used to be really good at these. Um, I should have put state abbreviation clearly. Just googling MI, not gonna work. Okay, Michigan, yes. So Denise is in Michigan and this was 13 ounces and since we round up 12 by 12 by 2 update and she paid $8.49 for the pants. We bought those at the bins. They were just little crops and I knew they'd do well. I thought they were going to sell through YouTube because a couple people expressed interest but it's just as easy almost to list them on eBay. I just had to add measurements. And sure enough, within a week or so, they sold. We probably paid, knowing what they weigh and what we pay at the bins, which is about $1.59 a pound. And I say about because sometimes they charge us different prices for different things. Um, and I don't know why, I'm sure there's a good reason. But yeah, so we probably paid, I don't know, maybe $1.25 for these. And they sold within a week for $8.49 plus shipping. She paid, Five dollars and forty-nine cents for shipping. I have to watch my rambling. Sometimes I just go on and on without bear here. That's my husband. He's he's pretty good on camera and just in life in general. He's funny. Okay, we're going to print. Ship my next label. And thank you, Denise. I'm going to have to photograph these, I think, because they just look so pretty all lined up together. I don't think you can get the full effect back there, but you, you see them. Be impressed. Okay. The next item are, oh, pantyhose. I'm not going to have, wow, these are all first class mail. No, one of the bigger ones will be. Okay, so I'll have one or two of Priority Mail, but another first class mail. This is a lot of three pairs of pantyhose or nylons or stockings. I put all of those keywords in the title and you'll wanna do that if you sell some. And they sold for $3.99. And one of our subscribers sent me these in one of the packages. So I didn't pay anything, they were free. Thank you so much. So, these have a dollar sticker on them. I'm guessing it was like a yard sale. I'm sure I photographed the sticker, but I'm gonna peel it off. I don't think the person would have a problem if they saw a $1 yard sale sticker. Uh, plus, who sells these for a dollar at a yard sale? That's clearly too much. Okay, there we are. And these are shipping to just the letter M period. So they abbreviated their first name, obviously. And they paid $3.99 again for the stockings, $4.50 for first class mail. So $4.50. I have a tiny little piece left. I'm just gonna do the bow around once. 
and M lives in upstate New York. There we are. So, M, I don't know what gender you are, and honestly, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to put, I wonder if a card. Hmm. I'm gonna put wipes cleaners. You can do your glasses, sunglasses, or you can do like a screen of some kind, your phone or computer screen. And I'm going to put this in a plastic bag and then in the poly mailer. I was going to save these for another video, but I'm just gonna use them all up now because I'm too dang excited. There's a ton of different poly mailers in here. So let's grab one. Let's grab the turquoise pizza print <laughs> again from packet chic mailers a thank you to whoever uh donated these to me so i can use them and create fun little stacks of packages seven point three ounces so we round up to eight and um, twelve by twelve by two update they paid again $4.50 for shipping, and my cost was $3.36. I am making a good bit of money somehow today. I don't know what happened with that. <laughs> Did shipping go down? I don't think shipping went down, right? Okay, open label, drink my water. Thank you so much, M. Huh. Okay, now it's really good. I think you can still see them. And the next item, let's do my last first class mail, which is a Christmas belt by L.L. Bean that sold for $27. And I think we got it from the bins. <laughs> do you see all of these? I have so many different tissue papers. This is not even all of them. And then I'm gonna put this in a yellow poly mailer. Oh my goodness, so cute. So I'm gonna pose. Okay, here's me posing for the thumbnail. There we are. Now I just have to take a screenshot of it and that's how I get my thumbnail. I think I'm going to go for the brightly colored one. It's a Christmas belt. It's, let's put it in Christmas wrapping paper in August when it's like 93 degrees outside. 89. It's 89 degrees outside. But my husband and I adore the humidity. We would prefer it stay hum humid throughout the whole year. Here is the belt. It has a tapestry scene on it. It's adorable. Everything is adorable. It was a woman's large, extra large. This took months to sell and that's probably because I listed it March. I don't know. But um, yeah, so of course a winter belt is going to take a little bit longer. But I got $27, which I am very impressed. I might have only paid, I don't know, 50 cents for this. It's like, eight. so not bad eBay. And um, they paid Amy from Tennessee. I know where she is. I went to my first semester of college in Tennessee in Chattanooga. This is a lot of tissue paper. We're going to cut it in half. So yeah, I enjoyed a semester down in Tennessee. I think I want to put the fun watermelon. I think that would be such a fun thing, like the summertime and winter time it has a little bit of a theme. Plus, people you reuse this ribbon. I totally would if I got it in the mail. <laughs> You're gonna see every ribbon everybody ever sent me, by the way. That wasn't a threat. <laughs> Only if you want to see it. There we go. Let's put, let's 
put some wipes on the package and a business card. And let's put this in the lemon poly mailer. I'm way too excited about. This one's shiny too. I think this came from Corey Jenin, who's at You Pack and Ship. She sells everywhere now. She sells on Amazon. I have links on Amazon to her stuff um, and links below for her. But she sells a ton of packing supplies. She's done really well for herself. But I think this is one of hers. So fresh. And 4.3 it settled on, so we round up to five. Update. Purchase and print. The second page is coming up. I have to open the label. Okay, and print. Print. That's how you do it. Time and time again. My mom asked me recently how many packages I've sold on eBay or how many items. I, it's got to be over 25,000. It's a lot of items. Thank you so much, Amy. It's like bad Jenga because everything is slippery. Do you say slippy or slippery? I say slippy and my husband always says it's slippery. Is one slang? Am I being hip? I'm not being hip. Okay, Susan in Maryland purchased 32. Oh, that's all right, we have the most giant bag ever. Okay, it's not a giant bag, but it weighs a ton. This goes up to 50 pounds. This can't possibly be 50 pounds. I can't lift 50 pounds. I can lift like five pounds, maybe six pounds. So yeah, it's, it's gotta be around there. But she paid, are you ready for this? It sold for $177.50. We bought this at the bins. I don't even know what price they charged us because they separated it out. But even if we paid $1.59 a pound, it's 8.07. So about eight pounds, which is a lot more than I thought I could carry, by the way. Um, go me. I'm so buff. So we paid, let's even say $20. 177. There were seven bids and I had it started for on auction because I knew they were pretty good. Those Cricut cutters. I put untested. I did not try these. Don't know whether they're linked or not linked. That's a big thing. If somebody can use them on a newer machine, they need to be not linked. So I started them for $99.99. And then they sold for $177.50, which was more than the buy it now of $149.99. Somebody could have come along at any time up until that last bid or the last two bids, I guess, because they outbid each other and bought it for $150. But no, this person spent more. So thank you so much, Susan. I hope you get a lot of use out of them. Your ID name has the word craft in it. So I'm hoping you do. She paid $9.99 for shipping and lives in Maryland. Now, this is heavy. So we have some options and I think this is a good time to show you all of the boxes you can buy. 90% of the boxes I use and just what's available in priority mail. First class mail, under a pound, you got it, put it in a poly mailer. You have to use your own packaging for first class. Priority, you can order supplies. So I'm gonna go through really quickly what kind of priority options there are and show you some sizes. And then we will talk about what we need for this exact item. Okay, so priority is you can use your own packaging. You could use the poly mailer, but it has to be a pound or over, or you're gonna ship it at that pound rate. It's nothing under that. So you can use your own packaging, your own box, your own whatever for priority, or you can order free supplies, which is basically what I do 99% of the time. These are flat rate envelopes. They are the bubble mailers or padded mailers as they call them. So on the website, and I have videos of me ordering supplies with a step-by-step. -step. So if you're unsure of how to order free priority supplies, 
feel free. I'll link that below. If I don't, just ask. I'll be glad to link it for you. Um, so this is the one I use a lot of the time. This fits most clothing items. This is not going to fit that. <laughs> but anything you can put in this up to 70 pounds. So this is the padded flat rate envelope. Anything you can ship in here. $7.33 on eBay. $7.33. Just have to be able to fit it in there. You can order these in 10s or 15s. So I order them at 100 a time. And sometimes I place multiple orders fairly quickly. And by Christmas, you really want to be ordering these at least two weeks before you need them. Sometimes they ship quicker, but allow about two weeks. So if you need supplies in about two weeks and you're running low, order them now, especially before Christmas. But these are really nice. They come, you can order 10 of 10. So I get 100 at a time. I keep some upstairs in our attic just in case because the post office does not carry these. You can only find them online. So if you run out, <laughs> you're kind of out of luck unless you know somebody with them. The next option is going to stay with the flat rate. So in priority mail, first class, under a pound, you got it. Priority mail, there are flat rate, which basically ships for a flat price, no matter if you're shipping them next door or to Hawaii. So that's flat rate. There are flat rate boxes. And then there are regional boxes. And that's basically where it keeps the cost lower than if you just use your own box, but you have to fit it in that box. And it ships at a two pound rate or a four pound rate. So that's regional. We'll get into those some other time. Or if you've watched any other video, you already know regional box as well. Again, order those online. Some post, is, post offices, again, order those online because some post offices have them and other people are saying their post office doesn't have regional boxes. So I order those online. I order everything online. <laughs> Toilet paper, I'm getting online. Anything I can for the same price or cheaper. Um, and then there's just plain boxes. They're not flat rate. They ship at a calculated one pound next door is gonna be cheaper than one pound to Alaska. So I have all of those here. Sticking with the flat rate theme though, there are what's called small boxes, which are about the same size as the padded envelopes. So you can go small. If you can't fit it into that, you'd have to go medium and a medium priority box is pretty pricey. I have it here, it is fairly large, but let's say we went with that option. I think it's like $14. I am checking. It is $12.42 online. So there is a discount, which is really good. So it's under $13. I That might fit that. We're gonna leave this out as an option. If it won't fit in that, I have to go large flat rate, and those are really big. So I only keep a few of those kind of tucked under all of my other stuff because I rarely use it. Large flat rate are $17.08. Again, this person paid $9.99 for shipping, but I kept that as a calculated, knowing I might absorb some of the cost and have to pay more than that. So that's flat rate. So. There are four options, five options for flat rate boxes. It's a nice option to have, so I keep those around. The next one we're gonna talk about are regional boxes. There are regional A, regional B, and I even think regional C if they discontinued it. I never used it, it's huge. The regional A have a squat box for regional A, or you have the option, I have so many boxes here, or you have the option of a long skinny box. Both are regional A. So if I can fit this in a regional A box, it's gonna be $8.50. I'm not gonna be able to fit it in this box. It's a skinny box, a little skinny box. Okay, that's that one. And this is the other regional A. And if it doesn't fit in this one, most likely it's not, but it's nicer for like chunkier sweaters that you don't have to get it that thin of a package. They ship at the same exact rate, they're regional. If it won't fit in that, which in my case it won't, I'd have to go to a regional B box. This is really, really close to the medium flat rate. What did I do with that one? Here it is. 
this is really close to the medium flat rate. So this one in the front is medium flat rate. Here we go. And then it's, it's about the same height. I mean an inch, but when you're doing that in thirds, it's a third of an inch. So it's about the same height, but there's probably almost three inches difference. So medium flat rate is smaller and regional B is a good option for me. That's even larger and regional B is $10.34. So if this was shipping, where is this shipping? Did I say? Maryland. So if this was shipping to Alaska, it might be more than that. Regional fluctuates based on the region. <laughs> I'm sure you made that connection before I said it. So flat rate, small, medium, large, basically. Regional, A, B, maybe C. And then we move on to our own box. This is, you have an old Amazon box, you wanna put it in. Or sometimes I ship things in like a blanket box or even in a poly mailer, I could ship something. So you have to calculate your own shipping. They do make mailing boxes that are free and aren't flat, aren't regional. If they say something, you have to use it for that. So if you get a medium flat rate and you're like, I'll just use it for a regular box, can't do that. Sorry, it has to be branded for some reason. If it's not branded with flat nor regional, it's probably just a regular old mailing box and that's calculated shipping. So knowing that it's eight pounds, well, it have to round up to nine. So let's do nine pounds with the packaging. If I went with like an Amazon box and used my own packaging, it's $17.52. So the second place, <laughs> the runner up, if we didn't have this one, we'd have to go with this one, would be medium flat rate. It's smaller, it's $3 more. The winner is obviously the regional B. This was a cheaper option. I have to go between carrier packaging, this is just an eBay thing, or custom size. They're like a toggle switch almost with your mouse where you could go back and forth. One's flat rate, one's not. I don't know why they made it that way. They should have had all the priority options in the same eBay. You're not asking me though. $10.34. Let's see if I can fit it in here. <laughs> We have some aqua tape. Thank you so much. This is my last roll, and then I'll be into the person who sent me aqua tape. You were just the sweetest. one piece of tape to make sure it works before I really tape it up. This is the same width as the box, so I'm going to put a whole bunch and try to lay them flat to give this box a really good shot. I'll be back in like 20 minutes. <laughs> it's gonna take forever. That's okay. We made $177. Okay, this is what we're looking at. I don't know if we're halfway through them though. Once I know how these are going, I'll wrap them a little bit better. I have foam. It's probably left over from something. And I'm gonna put a little bit of foam in between just so she knows I tried. <laughs> and let's do the burgundy. Is this satin or grogan? Wow, it's like a really, oh, it's gorgeous. Oh my goodness, it's like Laura Ashley Christmas gorgeous. Um, we're gonna wrap these a little bit so she knows I tried. And we're, we're really trying here. <laughs> it is 
so close, so close, it's not going to make it. <laughs> it needs to be completely flat. And it looks good from the side. It's not, it's, it's definitely several inches off. Okay, so obviously the regional B is out. Next option. So medium flat rate was smaller, not an option. So we can't go flat rate unless we went large flat rate, which is a contender. So regional, we're out of options unless we went to C, which I'm not even sure is still a thing and would be way too big and way too expensive. Do they have C? I should really check. I keep saying they don't have C. They might have C. eBay doesn't have C. That doesn't necessarily mean it's not there, but they don't have an option for C for some reason, unless I'm, I'm missing it. I, I can't say that I am. So this is either my own box or large flat rate. Let's put nine pounds. It might even be closer to 10. Let's do 10 pounds. Okay, so if it was in my own box, it's basically $19. It's $18.93. Or the other option is the large flat rate. Which the other option is large flat rate, which I'll go grab because that's $17.08. So that does save us almost $2.00 and I can hopefully fit it in there. That's my next step. I lied. I don't have a large flat rate. Clearly I need to order more of those because I could have saved almost $2 and the cost of a box, which I think I got for free. <laughs> okay, so this is, I don't have to measure it because it has this printed on it. So I'm going to put in these measurements and make sure it's the same. So before the measurements, if it was just a small package that weighed 10 pounds, it would be $18.93 if it was a 12 by 12 by 2, which is about the same as the poly nailer. So picture that size. So let's check this size now, which is a 16 by 12 by 8. I think somebody said it's by cubic square feet so it is the same okay that's good that's really good <laughs> because if i went up i don't know a little bit it would jump much higher so i'm glad this box exists good job box you have purpose okay so we're going to now put these in this is going to be easy peasy here and i will wrap these and put bubble wrap or more foam Next package. And this will be the top package. So it'll be the layer underneath the foam or bubble wrap on top. First thing they see, this is stunning. Somebody needs to get married with a shirt and then put this as a tie. Wouldn't that be pretty? Okay, Jilson Roberts, whoever designed this print needs to have a wedding and all the groomsmen and all the bridesmaids look, have the look of these colors. And then we could do accents of that color. right I'm going to include a floral whatever you want it to be clip on a business card this one will be the top and then we'll put some padding on top the eBay tape is good but it's some as good as some tapes out there. Um, so I always do at least three across the box and one perpendicular to that. That kind of helps in my opinion. I've sent a lot of boxes. So let's give this a second way. We're almost there with this one.
9.35 and we round up to 10 and this is our own box 16 by 12 by 8 update should be about $19 it is $18 and 93 cents had to change the battery so if I've moved I'm sorry okay open label and print and print Hey Susan, I hope you love these. Okay, I put it way in the back. It's not that pretty. The next item. We're done. <laughs> we have one more item that they haven't paid. And it's a pair of um, like a jumpsuit. It's a pair of overalls. I don't know what to call it. I'll show you. And uh, they purchased it for $33.99. So now we are going to PayPal. We had one of our subscribers purchase something and she paid through PayPal. I can send invoices or people can send me payments through PayPal as long as they're doing it goods and services and not family and friends. I pay taxes. If I ever get audited, I always want to keep it on the up and up. Okay. Here it is. I'm not even going to say the person's name. And she purchased three bags of breathing apparatuses, apparati, I don't know. That's what she bought. Here they are. There's a third bag down there. They are Philips Wisp. And I wasn't sure I could sell these on eBay anyway, so it was perfect that somebody bought them. They are on there, but I know somebody, sometimes eBay's a little weird about things that might might because sometimes they don't have a prescription so i don't know i think they're being sold on amazon but i could be wrong love that butterflies which we haven't seen i'll hold up the the tissue paper after it gets wrapped here to save yeah i want to make sure i save enough to use for another package and i can mix print up my bows I know they'll probably get squashed in the mail but they just look so pretty and they make me happy and it makes me feel good to plump up the bows <laughs> okay so there we are this is gonna be so much fun with these and then we're gonna do the burgundy which is clearly what somebody's wearing now in a wedding. Now that I gave them that idea. Wow, this is a lot of ribbon I still have left. Let's do that. Sometimes I cut it too short. But if, if I do, which <laughs> this one clearly is, I will just put that aside and then break out the longer piece. might be in my top I don't know this might be my top ribbon at the moment I really liked the tool but as far as ribbon the color is stunning I don't see this color a lot so I'll wrap another one exactly like this but this is what we'll have butterflies we'll have some shirts <gasps> right so fun This episode should just be called Melissa Loves Her Own Wrapping Paper. Oh, that's a short one. I think I'm going to use this one. I'll just go around it once. Okay. Cut off those ends. Careful not to cut my fingers. I can get my brain. Okay, now we have them all packaged. But, and we will ship. Ship. There we 
now on PayPal. So PayPal doesn't work with the 450 Turbo from Dymo. It does work with the 4XL. Uh, the 4XL is 200. This one I got for less than 50. It just seemed like a no-brainer. But if they're close in price, I would upgrade to the 4XL because it prints that 4x6 you can use everywhere. You can use it with Amazon, you could use it Etsy, PayPal, eBay, Macari, just all of Posh, all of the places you sell basically use a 4x6. eBay's the only one I'm getting away with printing on this. So because it's PayPal and not eBay, I have to print to a regular printer. I'm gonna put this in a giant poly mailer. Not that one. Okay, now in the top one, I'm going to put another. I'm trying to decide, would she want that? I, I guess so. That's probably one of the nicer things I have. Thank you, Annette. So I'm gonna put this one on top with my business card, and that way when she opens it, I mean, if these stay on here, I don't know. As of right now, it's on there. <laughs> so I'm going to weigh this and then I'm gonna turn on my printer because it is noisy. If I couldn't see the digital display, which I can, there is a hold button on the side of this. And I love this scale. It's the nicest scale I've ever had. A subscriber sent it to me. Are you surprised? I have the best subscribers. It is AccuTech and it's their kind of basic or maybe a step up from basic, but this weighs between one and two pounds. So if this was covering, I could hit that hold button makes a little noise. It is one pound, nine ounces, so I round up to two, and I am using my own packaging. It's not flat rate, it's not regional, my own packaging. And this is about 12 by 16 by, I have no idea, six. And calculate shipping on PayPal and printing. And this person lives in Kentucky, so there are only two states. I never know to count our state and the next state. Would that be two states or the next state? I don't know. So it's $8.50. And get to run on the printer. It's turning on. Okay, so the next and last one I have to print after this is a giveaway I had on Instagram and um, I paired up with somebody and you followed me, you followed them, you left a comment, you were in the, and it was worldwide. So I do have giveaways on Instagram once in a while. And the last video or the next video, the one where Bear reacts, I'm hoping to have that one go up first. So maybe the last video I had a giveaway for eyeshadow. So just once in a while I have giveaways. If a company sends me one extra or just I buy new packaging and want to share it with the world, um, there are giveaways. But I do I do, do those um, on, I'm going to hit print and hopefully it sends it. I'm going to do those on Instagram more often than here. Okay. Print to my big noisy printer. And I buy half, um, I think they're called half sheet. They're, they're a regular printer size, a paper size, but they're cut in half. So half sheet label stickers. I buy those on Amazon. I'm sure I have them below if you're interested. I get a lot of these for not so much money. They're like a penny or two a piece. It's, it's cheaper or just as cheap as some papers, like a good paper, and it's a sticker. So if you're printing to paper and using tape, unless you get that tape and paper for free, then I get it. I think the paper, the sticker paper is the way to go. 
Thank you so much. Okay, so I have another half sheet left. I'm gonna feed this back through the printer. I'll do that for my next item. So I had the giveaway, pulled a winner last night, and she responded with her address. So I'm going to log into Pirate Ship to print this one. Obviously she didn't pay me, it was a giveaway. So if you're sending a family, friend, member where they're not sending you money or a payment for something, if you're sending them a package, Pirate Ship is so much cheaper than the USPS.com. It's free. I print a lot with Pirate Ship. I'm not affiliated. They're completely free. Totally worth signing up, especially if you ship things over two pounds or I mean, even eBay can't beat the prices sometimes. So if you're shipping a lot of heavy things, sign up for this, you can print through this and then upload the tracking to eBay. But if you're just sending to friends and family and need some place to print a label, Pirate Ship is the place to go. It is so nice. I set up my um, credit card or debit card or whatever it was. I think it was a credit card once and then it saves it, which is the option I chose because if you can save me a step of going to get a credit card every time I need to pay with myself, oh my gosh, I should just memorize the number, but I'm not going to. So this is headed to an Instagram winner. Here we go, Angela. I had, I think, just under 400 comments when I went to pick a winner and I use random.org just to truly keep it random. And I've had over a thousand comments on one Instagram post where there's a thousand people. So I have to put the number one through a thousand to randomly pick a winner. And I've had to count hundreds. I mean, it takes hours sometimes, but I love doing it. This time it picked four. <laughs> you just made my life, first of all, so much easier. But then it sounds like I'm cheating if a low number, because it's so easy, I don't know. So I was like, I can't press it again because then the number four winner, who would have won, it, it would have bothered me. So number four won, I didn't have to do too much of any counting. I had to count to four. And she sent me her address. So I'm gonna put this back in. I'll show you everything she won. We'll figure out what box to put it in. This will be my last item. And it will be a similar process. I won't say all the boxes again, but it'll be similar to that priority big package because it's heavy. So here are some of the things I put in the giveaway. I just basically took all the supplies I had and just took a little bit of everything. So she's getting raffia and turquoise, kind of the same color I use, yellow and silver. And the silver's really pretty. It has a kind of a sheen to it, I guess. So I took some of those. Those um, I use a thousand yards. It lasts me, I don't know, a year. I don't know yet. <laughs> I think this is my second spool, but this is the only one this year and it's August. So yeah, it's less than $30. So that's a really good option. I got the yellow for $19 shipped. Then I have some Jilson Roberts bags, some Martha Stewart washi. I got all of this on Amazon, the Martha Stewart washi. It was almost a giveaway. It was so cheap. I think it was like a dollar maybe a dollar fifty I don't know for eight rolls of washi what the next thing and I have to fold all of these in half is all of the tissue paper I had so just a whole bunch so I just want to make sure that there's going to be at least 50 so I have butterflies we have the donut Santa hot paper, which I don't think is too Christmassy to really offend anybody. We have the tie and suit groomsmen <laughs> in my little scenario. I might even have one or two more that I didn't put in here. Oh, I totally do. Bear and I, well, like I did anything. Bear went upstairs and got some um, blankets and just some other things he was looking for, some songs he wrote. So he went up in the attic and he brought down the Christmas stuff because that's where he had the songs and like sentimental items with Christmas. And yeah, I have more tissue paper in the Christmas bin. I completely forgot. I'm like, oh my goodness. But it's okay, we'll use it. The marble, that last one was a zigzag, a chevron, that was half off. 
And then I bought some of the silver to match the silver raffia. This is really pretty and kind of classic too. It is Mary Bright Love Peace. It's silver with a dove print. And it's really sparkly. It's coming off as very kind of old fashioned Christmassy on camera, I think. It's not, it looks more modern. Just something about the way the font is, I think, than the doves. Okay, so we're gonna put that in a plastic bag. We'll make sure everything we send her is well protected. And she's in California, so if I didn't say that, so California is truly across the country. I mean, I guess if we went straight across the Gulf, we'd run into to Texas. So we have to go up and north a little bit, but okay, one more. All of the poly mailers we just used. So we have lemon, we have shopping theme, aqua. Did we use the aqua? I don't think we used the aqua. Um, pizza, flowers, pumpkins, bunnies, all of it is in here. It's a whole bunch of every single one of these. So I think we're going to put it in this box. Again, I don't have a large flat rate, so let's figure out what this weighs in this box and then kind of go from there. It might fit, you know what? It'll probably fit in the regional A. So let's just see what this weighs and add a pound for shipping for right now. You know what I'm gonna do? Just a little secret. If I get a box and put it down here, I could zero this out, and that's just the main button. It zeroes it out. Yep. And then I'm going to put everything up here because this is most likely going to bend over, and the box will keep it all on the scale. This is pretty heavy. So what I'm going to do is hit that hold button. I know it's on the side. I don't have to see it, thank goodness. So it is six pounds, 9.4 ounces. So I'm going to round that up to at least seven, maybe even eight. Let's go for eight, just to get an idea of if I should use a regional box or regular box. So I'm gonna use the 18 by 12 by six, eight pounds from me to Angela. Let's do a regular box first where it's calculated $30. I thought that might be pricey. <laughs> okay, now the regional B. Let's see if they have regional B. They do. I've never used regional B with them. And eight pounds, might be seven, $21. So it's much cheaper in the regional B. Can I fit this in a medium flat rate? Maybe. That might be the cheaper solution if I can do it. It's good to have all of our options open. Medium flat rate, priority, eight pounds. $12, oh, this is clearly the winner. I'm so glad we checked this. I don't know that this is gonna fit. Let's see if it fits. Okay, here's the box made. Just has the strip across it for now to see if it fits. There's no way that's fitting, right? Huh? I don't know. We'll see, <laughs> it's gonna be iffy. I want to keep the tissue paper flat, so I'm going to kind of like roll these up and take out all the air. We'll do a little magic trick with the air here. By magic trick, I mean just press on it with my entire body. Is this not going to fit? This is a maybe. That last box was like a no way, but this one? This is really my fit. Look at that. That's really close. I have like, if I push down about an inch left. <laughs> if it doesn't, it'll fit into a regional. This is my strength here. Here after 10 packages. <laughs> this is it for me. Okay. Ah, 
that will fit. I mean, I have to push down on it, but we're compressing things that are flat anyway. I'm going to send her a postcard just to say she won the giveaway and thank you again. Okay, we will put in the postcard, which has manatee, which I've seen many, many times. And the first time, if they surprise you, it's quite frightening, <laughs> but they're really harmless and they're amazing. Okay, so now I'm going to stand up. Can I do this? I'll just put this on my lap. That way I don't have to stand. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. It's perfect. Okay, so again, same with the tape. Three up and down, one cross section holds everything in. And I think that'll be good. So medium flat rate, 1250 by label it's 509 <laughs> my husband's gonna have to get to the the gas station soon so thankfully this is the last label i didn't realize it would take me some you know talking to a camera is a little bit different than if i'm just like rushing through it i have to smile more i probably smile a lot anyway so fun for me okay so print print see if I put the paper in the right way I know PayPal the label has to be for my printer toward the back here it's the opposite way pirate ship is the opposite way you get used to it I did it the right way okay this is the last one Little tip when you're putting on the label not to cover where it says medium flat rate. It says it here. So don't cover it if it says regional or medium flat rate. You want to put the label where they can still see that because you don't want to be charged for just a shipping box. You want to be charged the lesser rate. And the USPS does check once in a while. I get a little bit of a refund for when I paid too much or they charged me too much or vice versa. I've gotten both. And I had to call eBay to kind of prove it was a medium flat rate box because they take pictures of all the boxes. It's crazy. Anyway, thank you so much to everybody who entered. I'm so glad Angela won. That is everything from me. I have stuff everywhere to clean up and my husband has to get to the store before they close so we can drop these off wouldn't be a big deal because again I had a two-day handling fee but if we can get them in today's mail I think that'd be better get everything out sooner thank you so much for watching feel free to leave questions down below comments down below and subscribe to my channel to watch more of these videos take care bye we hope your day He's blooming with joy.